Hello, I'm a BX Toy Camp. Welcome back to the video. So when I was playing the Fallout Masher Pack on stream around a week ago now, one of the first things a lot of people started to ask me to do was to check it out in the default texture pack. This is because it's something I've done for all the other Masher Packs, and it's a really interesting experience every single time. Not only because you get to look at the world and see how much worse it looks because it's not designed for the default texture pack, but also because you get to see some of the big builds, like for instance Diamond City or Megaton in this case, and see how they were built kind of by deconstructing it and uh, you know seeing it in the default textures. It makes things a bit easier than seeing everything in these weird texture pack blocks. So in today's video. I'm going to be checking out the Fallout 3 slash Fallout 4 slash a little bit of Fallout 1 and 2 mashup pack and hopefully you all do enjoy this. If you do like the video, like it, let me know because it helps out the channel a lot and let's say you do like this sort of, uh, you know, thing. Uh, again, checking out stuff in the default textures and that maybe you want to see more of this in the future because bear in mind, I haven't done all the battle maps yet. Maybe that'd be kind of fun. But yeah, with that said, let's get straight into it and let's start by talking about the fact that we spawned up here with the Fallout 4 kind of nuke shelter, the one you go into at the start of that game. And uh, yeah, you can see there's a vault down here and let's go check out the vault in this texture pack at first because the vault is one of my favorite little scenes that didn't really work out too well in the flat thing so i'm curious as to if it looks amazing or if it looks just exactly the same in the default ones or i guess it could look awful probably awful in fact uh so yeah, as you can see this is what the vault looks like on the inside it actually doesn't look too much worse it looks kind of like it does uh you know in the, uh, in the text pack itself as well as kind of like it does in the game obviously uh, one of the interesting things about these uh you know the default text pack here is you'll see there's a lot of colors that just don't really blend with everything else if i had to guess they use those colors to make like I, I guess more rustic textures because they needed a lot of those uh you know kind of similar textures are just like this is metal this is rusted metal Metal. This is very rusted metal, and I, I guess when you do that too much using the colored balls, you get a ridiculous looking text pack in the default one, which as you can see is roughly what's happened here. So yeah, I, you know, everything looks just about possible in this vault, but this is just one of the many builds on this thing. Let's see if uh, everything else is just possible or, you know, maybe a little bit worse. So let's fly up here and let's go check out the rest. So let's uh, go right up here and let's first of all check out the settlement. So this is the very first, you know, this is where I guess you start the game and, uh, you know, where you actually go back to a lot of the place in Fallout 4. And as you can see in the default text, Textures, it's uh it doesn't really look like houses does it because most houses don't <laughs> you know they're not blue with a little bit of purple splodges on them and I guess this is really the you know point of what I was just trying to raise where as you can see everything just looks really ridiculous you, you don't have yellow and purple houses uh, maybe in the 60s we did but I'm pretty sure uh, this isn't how they should look and yeah things look really bizarre especially with these red stained glass windows like you know to me at least this just looks entirely ridiculous but you know I, I guess that's uh, one of the trade-offs right here so yeah looking on the inside it gets even weirder because you've got like like the retro disco room with the uh, you know weird walls uh, but at least all the stained glass is red so at least there's some consistency going on around there I don't know if that really is a good thing but it is a thing that's happened right there as you can see this building also red stained glass this building and it actually looks like most of the buildings are alternating between blue and purple and yellow and purple so you know there's some consistency it just doesn't look like a full out town it looks like a, a very cartoony one which I mean I guess counts for something it's it it, it probably is, is good in some way just not in the way that most people consider to be good so yeah moving on from that we've got the red uh, uh, you know, truck stop where you find uh, your dog for the first time. Assuming you're still there. Nope, he despawned. So yeah, this is the red truck stop. And this actually looks just about the same in the default text pack. Like, I feel like this is one of those buildings that you probably could make, you know, in just your regular mi uh, Minecraft world. And you could get away with it looking pretty much like it's meant to. I mean, on the inside, it's kind of messy because I assume it wasn't designed too well. But the outside, at least, it looks like a truck stop. It's got the red thing. It's got the rocket. Although, okay, you know what? That, that probably requires some reworking too. But you can still see, you know, this is like salvageable. And if you want to make a red truck stop in your Minecraft world, maybe this is the inspiration to tell you that you can do it even if you've got the vanilla text pack on. So, yeah, as well as having that, we've got this village over here, which I didn't even realize was actually altered so much, like it's made from yellow and purple and blue again, uh, because, you know, they love yellow and purple and blue in this texture pack. Uh, so, yeah, as you can see, uh, also the uh, the metro kind of thing, made out of green stained glass. It looks a little bit weird, but again, just a almost, I was going to say just about passable, a little bit less than passable, but kind of close, I guess, which counts for something. Then, of course, we've got the crashed uh, little bird, I believe it is, over here, which, um, I mean, uh, let's let's just uh, kind of ignore that one right there. Uh, we've got this uh, truck over here, which I think is, again, uh, like, it's it's not the best design for a car over, but it actually still just about works. It looks almost uh, fallouty despite being the default texture pack, so that's kind of good. The redstone in the back is a little bit weird, but still, you know, it, it makes me kind of uh, inspired to go out and build myself one of these things. So, yeah, this is uh, the a little truck in the desert, but we've got our first big place coming up, so let's uh, actually set the time today, turn off the daylight cycle, and show you Megaton. So yeah, this is one of the big cities from Fallout 3, and as you can see, the nuke looks just fine, and therefore we can ignore everything else. But yeah, so uh, the rest of this place looks like, I mean, it's not the post-apocalyptic thing, but it does actually almost work, you know, having all these woods combined together. Actually, 
Okay, look at the gold, that kind of ruins everything. I was trying to look at like buildings like this and say it actually almost looks like just this really artistic build went slightly wrong or very wrong, depending on how uh, you know much you care about your wood uh, combinations. But when you get to this, you just see that like, you know what? This could have been built by like a six year old that was just goofing around blocks and was like, yeah, we need some gold there and then some blue wool. Uh, and uh, obviously, you know, it's, it's designed for the Fallout Master Pack, but it's still kind of funny to look at it in the default one. And uh, I don't think you can really learn much about how you build Megaton from uh, looking at all of this besides that. Oh yeah, jukeboxes, that's a good idea. Or like, oh yeah, have the one chiseled stone brick. I I, th I think this is probably one of the worst, uh, you know, builds in any default texture pack now that I look around it. Like, everything's just a little bit all over the place for my liking. But, you know, always fun to check out regardless of stuff like this. Oh, that's the, the plane propeller. So yeah, this is Megaton. The nuke looks okay. But everything past that, you, you might, might want to shut your eyes a little bit. So, uh, yeah, moving on from that, we've got the DC uh, kind of area. And as you can see, it's um same kind of problem, but not too bad for the most part. Like, yeah, granite building looks just fine. Yeah, stone. It's it's all just about okay until you get to, like, the buildings like this one. Oh, wait, sorry. Like like this one, which is a little bit weird. Like this one, which uh, I guess is meant to be a fire department, but has, like, way too deep a red. And uh, I guess even the, the, you know, the DC monument thing, it, it doesn't look the correct way, but it still actually looks like a pretty good build so that counts for something and like i said it's an easy way to learn how to build it because you can look at this and be like oh yeah so you got like you know you got your big things that kind of turn into circles and maybe i should go build myself a destroyed um i feel like it's called the washington monument but i might be getting that confused in the name for this thing which uh, for the record doesn't look uh, particularly amazing at all but it's destroyed let's give it a break actually let's not give it a break so then we've got the uh, giant airship the brotherhood still one if i'm not mistaken uh the to to paid in paid paid when or whatever you know the, the brotherhood fit still airship and as you can see looks very uh actually good like i i i feel like an airship is a great build for minecraft world if it's gonna be so much effort to build on the sky but you can look at this and see that even when you you know if it's a, a little bit messed up it still looks really good and you can just be like yep it's futuristic it's meant to not make sense people be like oh very fancy of you very fancy next up though we've got diamond city which is one i really wanted to see and uh the thing about diamond city is looking at it right now it looks like it's very brown and dull but you know it's the, the, the baseball stadium part of it looks pretty okay. It's got like the via, it, you know, that's that's all that's all nice stuff going on there, like the baseball stadium. Besides, maybe over here looks pretty fine. The the water all looking okay too. It's only when we get to like, I guess, looking at any detail on the buildings that we start to realize that eh, maybe maybe not so great because we've got this, for instance, you know. Uh, a, a kung fu man and a giant hand okay we've got this for instance because you know the paintings obviously they can't uh, match up here because that's not how it works we just got a lot of weird paintings around a lot of weirdly colored buildings like this green and brown one like this green and brown one like <laughs> you know you look around and you don't really see too much that makes you go yeah this is this is good building but you know that's what it's kind of meant to look like then we've got the uss constitution which i actually do quite like like this this could be a normal ship in a normal texture pack i feel like this is almost inspiring in the same way where you're like oh yeah i could totally build that and when you see it with regular blocks it looks a lot easier because you just have two giant straights along the side here which slowly go inside you've got these which like kind of fast go inside and you combine those and suddenly you got a ship that uh, is uh, apparently people are like kind of mocking stream like oh obviously that's the thing that was on top of the building but yeah this is the USSS constitution looks pretty good in default and probably this in the red uh you know uh, gas station probably the stars the things that you could probably build regardless maybe including the Washington DC monument but as we look around everything else it kind of loses it so this for instance let's <laughs> let's let's we don't even need to comment on that right like I think everything about that is kind of obvious from the get-go we've got this we've got we, we, but uh, I guess these satellite dishes good way to teach you how to make those it's like a dome kind of thing with this giant thing coming out of it that might be useful and then we got this thing in the corner over here which as you can see a uh, rather weird little thing so there are a few more things i should show off so i'll kind of go speedy through them because they're mostly things i don't really you know know what they're meant to look like by default but we'll still uh just speed past them so let's go back over dc and it's uh it's slightly weird buildings again I just, I just really feel like this is actually a good, almost guide on how you can build something like this. By seeing it made out of terrible blocks, it's almost inspiring to me to be like, yeah, I could build that, but better in the default texture pack. But yeah, if you look around everything else, you can be like, uh, maybe, maybe this, uh, maybe these aren't the correct blocks you should be using for stuff like this around the water plant, for stuff like, uh, this in this building over here, which is supposedly one of the key buildings from Fallout 3, because never played to the end of that. So, like, this, for instance, uh, not, 
not necessarily the correct combination of blocks. Uh, those power lines at least look slightly okay, besides the weird orangeness. Uh, we've got this thing right over here, which, again, I mean, it's uh, just about possible in this uh, in the default texture pack, which is really good for, uh, you know, a mashup pack, that, uh, especially when you compare it to, like, the Mass Effect. We've got this giant church right here, which... Uh, is, is a few steps below possible, uh, several steps below, you could say. We've got this building in the wall right here, which uh, I, I don't even know what's entirely going on. And then finally, we've got the Fallout 1 slash Fallout 2, like, vault kind of thing, just over here. And uh, I don't think there's really too much I can say about this, because it doesn't really look too awful or too great. It just kind of looks okay. But what I really like about this particular place is I, re I actually think the sandstone to the red mix, like, it's not what they were going for at all, but it actually kind of works in an entirely different way. Like, again, if you want to make a village, I feel like make your pathway out of red never brick and then maybe surround it with bricks and sandstone and the colors clash enough to be kind of good looking in my opinion but that's that might just be my opinion i really actually do quite like these and it's almost inspiring to me like in the biggest accident ever i feel like the reds to the the pink is that I, I don't know what color you call this brick like the red to the brownie red to the the sandstone is is a really really nice pathway thing to look at and i learned today by accident that uh, a, a red never brick pathway is something that i kind of want to use my uh, minecraft world so yeah maybe you learned something from this whole thing too or maybe you just like seeing the train wreck that is any texture uh, any uh, mashup pack in the default textures so you know if we go in here it's like oh uh, yeah this is uh exactly the same a lot worse in fact like oh look at these walls this is <laughs> not a pleasant experience but yeah let me know what you in the comments down below. Like if you liked it, share if you really liked it, and subscribe if you're new around here because I make videos like this one every single day on my channel. And if you subscribe, you'll see them daily on your homepage. Thank you all very much for watching this one. Let me know if you want to see all the uh, textured battle maps in the default ones or like vice versa or something in the comments down below. And I guess I will see you all in the next one. So goodbye.